This is the key to factoring worksheet number three. <clears throat> and in, in these uh, problems, you want to factor these by by grouping. So you want to use the AC method um, in, in these. So you want to change each of these, these three terms to four terms so you can use grouping. And I did mention that I need for you to work it just like I did this one. So I provided this example so you'll know how to work, uh, show the work that I want so you'll get full credit. Okay, all right, so number one, let's look at number one. I'm going to use the AC method with number one. So we have 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. And so remember, we have that AC method. So you have a quadratic um, expression. So ax squared plus bx plus c. And a, remember, is a coefficient of x squared. b is a coefficient of x. And c is your constant. Okay, and so in the AC method, when when you want to change this this trinomial to a polynomial with four terms, basically what you're going to do is you're going to take that middle term, and you're going to rewrite it as as a sum of two terms. Okay, and you can use the idea of that AC method. So the AC method, and is sometimes called product sum method, product sum method. And the reason is this. So, so I'm going to use this x to kind of go through this process. So, so if you notice this x, it divides, it divides this little area into four parts. And so the, the product, which is ac, will go in the top portion here. And the sum, which is b, will go in the bottom portion. Okay? All right. So... In this case, in this case, a, I'm going to go here, a is 2 and c is negative 12. All right, so ac, so you're going to multiply ac together. So 2, a is 2, and c is negative 12. So a times c then will be, ne will be 2 times negative 12, which is a negative 24. So I'm going to put negative 24 here, okay? And I want the sum to be b. So b being the coefficient of x. So in this case, the sum is negative 5. So I want the sum to be negative 5. And so here's the idea. So the idea is you've got to find two, and you're going to fill this part out now. So you're going to find two numbers, two numbers whose product is negative 24. And when you add up those two numbers, you get a sum of negative 5. Okay? All right, now, help yourself to, to think about this. You, you use a table if you need to. So you want your product to be, to be in this case, negative 24. And you want the sum, the sum to be um, negative 5. Okay? So you want, you want two numbers whose product is negative 24. And when you add those two numbers up, you get negative 5. All right, so let's think about this. So you all know, you all know that that 12 times 2 is 24, right? Okay? And and 12, a positive 12 times a positive 2 is a positive 24, so, but I want a negative 24. So if you make this negative, is that going to help you? No, it won't, because the sum, negative 12 plus 2, is a negative 10. So that didn't work. All right? You may say, well, let's make the 2 negative. Okay, we'll make the 2 negative. It's still not going to work, because when you add those up, you get a positive 10, right? Okay, so let's try some different possibilities. Let's try uh, for 12, you may say, or I'm going to try 6 and 4. We're going to try 6 and 4 because 6 times 4 is 24. But here's the thing, though. Think about what you're about to write. Is it going to help? If you put this negative, you get a negative 2. If you put this negative, you get a positive 2. So that didn't help, right? All right, so think about Think about the two numbers you're going to put in there before you even put it in there and see if it see if you will get the sum that you want. All right, well, what about 8 and 3? All right, well, 8 times 3 is 24, okay? Now, I'm going to ask you this. One of them has to be negative, right? Which one do you think is negative if you want the sum to be negative? That's correct. 8 has to be negative because a negative 8 and a positive 3 is a negative 5. So you found the two that you need. It does not matter whether you put the negative 8 here or the, eight, or the 3 here. It does not matter, okay? It does not matter. Now, here's what you're going to do. Now that you found the 2 that, that gives your product of negative 24 and a sum of negative 5, 
you're going to rewrite this term using those two numbers. All right, so here's how you can do this. You're going to say 2x squared. And it does not matter whether you put negative 8 first or 3 first. It does not matter, by the way. Okay? All right. Now, minus 8x. you got to make sure you put that, that x term. Okay? Plus 3x and then minus 12. So notice a negative 8x plus 3x is a negative 5x. So just make sure it kind of makes sense that this is still equivalent. So now notice I went from a trinomial to, to uh, four terms. Now I'm going to use the, uh, I'm going to use grouping. So I'm going to group the first two and the last two. In the first group, I can factor out a 2x. So I get 2x times x minus 4. In the second group, and we always factor out that middle sign, so I'm going to factor out a positive 3, and I get 3 times x minus 4. If, if this is factorable by grouping, these two should have the same, what's inside the same, what, inside the parentheses should be the same. So I'm going to factor out an x minus 4, and so I get x minus 4 times 2x plus 3. And so there's your answer. Okay, And that's the work you, that you show. You don't have to show this part. That part you do on another sheet of paper. Okay. But that's what I wanted to see. So, so that's all I wanted. Because if you did all this, if you did all this, you, 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 there's no way if you were going to use this sheet of paper that I have that you would be able to write all this in here. Okay? All right, so that's number one. Okay, now let's look at number two. Okay, number two. Number two, you have 10x squared plus 11x minus 6. All right, now again, now, uh, you, you know, you still have to look for the GCF, right? So the GCF is 1 here. The GCF here was 1. Okay, so if the GCF is not 1, you got to factor it out. Okay, now, let's talk about AC. So, so um, A is 10, right? B is 11, and C is negative 6. So, so, I want to find, I want to find two numbers whose product is AC, so 10, remember A times C, so that's 10 times negative 6, so that's negative 60, right? Okay? And whose sum is 11, positive 11. So I want to find two numbers whose product is negative 60 and whose sum is 11. So let's use a t-table. A t-table helps you to organize your, your thought. All right, so I want the product to be um, negative 60, so I need to find two numbers whose product is negative 60, and whose sum is um, 11. Okay, sum is 11. All right, so think about some numbers. Think about what, what, what might, might work. All right, so, and, and then use your calculator if you need to. So let's talk about negative 60. Now, obviously, you know, you know 2 times 30 is not going to help you, right? Because there's no way. Whether this is negative or the 30 is negative, there is no way you will get a sum to be 11, right? So why even think about that? That's 28. Oops, sorry. And that's a negative 28, all right? So, so use your calculator and start thinking strategically. All right, let's look at the next factor of, of 60. So the next factor of 60 would, would be 3, right? Is that going to help? No, that's not going to help. All right, let's talk about 5. All right, so let's see. 60 divided by 5 is 12. All right, oh, well, well, would, will that help? All right, will 60 divided by 5 help? All right, let's think. 5 and, and, and uh, 12, right? So if I make one of these negative, 12 minus 5, that's 7. So that's not going to work because I want a positive 7. So whether I make this negative or whether I make this negative, One's going to be a negative 7, the other's going to be a positive 7. All right, so try something else. Try try something else. Keep going until you find something that works. Um, so let's, so one of the things we didn't try was, I guess, 4. So 60 divided by 4 is 15. Oh, there we go. You will see it? 4 and 15, right? And so, so if I subtract them, I get 11. 15 minus 4 is 11. But I need I need the correct one to be negative. So if I want a positive eleven, that means that means four has to be negative, and so I get positive eleven. And there's there's a two that works, right? Okay. So then this is negative four, and this is fifteen. All right. Now, <clears throat> um, so I'm going to rewrite the middle term. I'm going to rewrite the middle term using those two numbers. 
So I get 10x squared, and I'm going to put 15x first, plus 15x minus 4x minus 6. All right. So notice, notice that 15x and the negative 4x is 11x. Now we're going to group the first two. We're going to group the last two. In the first group, I can factor out a 5x, and I get 5x times 2x plus 3. In the second group, you're going to factor out a negative 2, and I get negative 2 times 2x plus 3, because a negative 2 times a positive 3 is a negative 6. And then notice these two are the same, so you can factor that out. So 2x plus 3 times, and then when you factor out the 2x plus 3, you're left with 5x minus 2. And you're done. Now, you can always check. Check to make sure what you have is correct, right? So 2x times 5x is 10x squared. A positive 3 times a negative 2 is a negative 6. The outer is a negative 4x. See, I'm thinking about it. You see how you're doing it visually? Is a negative 4x. The inner is a positive 15x. When I add them up, I get positive 11x. All right, and that's that's a work you show. Okay, number three. Number three, we have this. We have 15x squared minus 39x minus 18. Now, make things easy on yourself. The GCF, there is a GCF other than one here. The GCF is three, okay? So let's go ahead and take that out, factor that out. So three times five x squared minus um, uh, 13x and then minus six. See, here, here's why you want to do this here. Because if you didn't, if, if you made a 15 and c a negative 18, I want to show you something. 15 times a negative 18, negative 270. You don't want to deal with negative 270. You, you do not want to use this idea with, with negative 270. You want to find a product that's negative 270 and whose sum is negative 39. Okay, it is easier to factor out the GCF first and then deal with this part. So we're going to look at this part now. 5x squared minus 13x minus 6. So now A, I'm going to use 5 for A, negative 13 for B, and negative 6 for C. And now the product, which is A times C, will be 5 times negative 6, which is negative 30. And the sum will be negative 13. So that, that's a lot easier than the product being negative 270. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and, and do this little x here. So I want the product to be, to be um, negative 30, and I want the sum to be negative 13. So I want to find two numbers whose product is negative 30 and whose sum is negative 13. Okay, so let's use the table to help us. So I want the product to be negative 30, and I want the sum to be negative 13. All right, so let's think of some numbers. So two numbers whose product is negative 30 and whose sum is, is 13. And then right off the bat, I think most of you know what it is. You may say, well, I'm, I'm going to write the wrong one because some of you are going to say this. Some of you are going to say 10 and 3. All right, yeah. Well, 10 times 3 is 30, but I want negative, right? So if I make this negative, is that going to give us negative 13? No. And then that's that's what many of you are going to, well, some of you are going to do. Because, look, it gives you negative 7. So 10 and 3 is not going to be the one I need. So let's try, let's try um, uh, 2 and 15. And so 2 and 15 is going to work because because if I subtract those, because sign is negative, so I need, I'm going to subtract. If I subtract those, I get 13, but I want it to be negative 13. So that means the 15 has to be negative. And so when I add them up, I get negative 13. So that's the one you want. So let's put the 2 here, negative 15 here. Okay? All right. So now remember, we're dealing with this now. So, so I'm going to rewrite this right here. Rewrite this right here. I'm going I'm to rewrite it. So 5x squared minus 13x minus 6. So I'm going to rewrite this part using those two numbers. All right. So I get 5x squared plus 2x minus 15x minus 6. So these two numbers go here. So those are the coefficients of the x terms. Grouping, grouping from the first group, it looks like the only thing I can factor out is an x. So I get x times 5x plus 2. From the second group, I can factor out a negative, what's that, uh, 3. 
And so negative 3 times 5x is a negative 15x. Negative 3 times a positive 2 is a negative 6. And then notice, those two are the same. So we're okay so far. So let's factor that out. So I get 5x plus 2 times x minus 3. Now be careful, that's not the answer. Because remember, the GCF was 3. So this goes here now. So now I get 3 times times uh, 5x plus 2 times x minus 3. Okay? All right. And then number 4, this is number 4. So number 4, we have 21x squared minus 16x plus 3. And again, those the GCF is 1 here. So A is A is 21, B is negative 16, and C is 3. So the product is A times C, so that's 21 times 3, which is 63, right? The sum, I want to be negative 16. The sum is B, so I want the sum to be negative 16. So I want to find, I want to find a product of 63 and a sum of negative 16. So let's use our, our table to help us. So, so I want the product to be 63 and I want the sum to be negative 16, right? Okay, so let's start thinking. Um, 3 times 21. Okay, is that going to help? Now, now, I want you to notice something. So, 3 times 21, a positive 3 times a positive 21 is a positive 63, right? Okay? But you want the sum to be negative. So, the product's positive. That means these signs have to be the same. So, they have to be, all be negative. So, everything we're going to do, everything's going to be negative because I want the sum to be negative since that's a positive product. But that's not going to work, right? Because a negative 3 and a negative 21 is a negative 24. So, that didn't work. So, let's try something else. Let's try 9 and 7. 9 and 7. But again, they have to both be negative because a negative times a negative is a positive, and when I add them up, I get a negative. Does that work? Yep, it sure does. So I found it. There it is. So let's put negative 9, negative 7 here. So I'm going to rewrite the middle term using negative 9 and, and negative 7. So let's do that. So 21x squared minus 9x minus 7x plus 3. So we're going to group the first two, we're going to group the last two. From the first group, it looks like I can factor out a 3x. And when you factor out a 3x, I get 3x times 7x is 21x squared. And then 3x times a negative 3 is a negative 9x. From the second group, I'm going to factor out a negative 1. The only GCF, the only thing I have in common here is a negative 1. Times, times... 7x is a negative 1 times 7x is a negative 7x. A negative 1 times a negative 3 is a positive 3. And then finally, you, you factor out the, the uh, common factor here, which is 7x minus 3. And you get 7x minus 3 times 3x minus 1. And there's the answer. Okay? So that is the key to uh, worksheet number 3.